Hello everyone, Katherine King here, ready for another installment of What Did I Haul? So this is a haul I did from Lurid Apothecary. So if you recall, not too long ago, I placed an order um, for a pre-order of like, it was like a circus theme um, pre-order. And I thought, uh, I'll, you know, give it a try and, and see what I think. And um, it seemed to take forever to come but I'm just getting used to the whole pre-order concept over the RTS concept. It was only eight weeks. Um, but anyway, once I got everything, I was like, oh my gosh, I love her wax. So I couldn't help myself. She had an RTS and I went ahead and, oh, I went ahead and ordered some additional things um, that I'm so excited about. And Sarah, Sarah Gonzalez is the owner. What did I do with that? She is the owner of Lurid Apothecary. And I told, she knows of my absolute obsession, obsession after that first order of the sweet pretzel twist. So guess what she sent me as my sample? She sent me another bag of sweet pretzel twist She's completely out of this wax. And she sent this to me. It, it has to be, oh my gosh. Guys, this is so good. If you have not, it, it, okay, if you're a pretzel person and it seems too yeasty, you have to get Sarah's pretzel, the sweet pretzel twist. There is nothing like it, absolutely. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like this scent. It is so amazing. And she's putting this in her, I think it's a pre-order. It's either an RTS or pre-order for autumn. This is on the list um, that she's getting the oil and she's gonna pour this. And I am going to get mass quantities of this. This is seriously V best pretzel I have ever had. It is so amazing. <sighs> Thank you, Sarah. Oh my gosh. I am, I can like live again because I have more pretzel. I am, I am, I'm, I'm honestly speechless. Mm. I saw that on there and I'm like, no way. Anyway. All right. So I am doing a box AJ is getting comfortable. I'm doing a box swap with my YouTube friend, Casey. I say it Houghton. I, I honestly, that could be said wrong. She lives down in Texas. So um, we're going to do a box swap. So she is my fresh and fruity friend. I'm bakery and fruity. So there are um, some things that I've gotten maybe in mystery boxes or samples or whatever that I don't particularly care for but I know that she would love. So we're doing a swap. And I told her I was gonna be ordering another order from Lurid Apothecary and she's never ordered from there. So she looked at the list, she goes, order me this and throw it in my box. You got it. So I did order one additional thing. I am not gonna show you what it is. I'm not gonna sniff it with you because I know Casey, you're gonna be watching this video and I don't want you to know what I got you. Okay, all right, let's get started. I, I, I'm I, still beyond floored that she sent the pretzel. I am going to fill my house in pretzel today. I just know it. All right, so I got a lot of twofers, um, either scents that I knew I really liked or ones that I picked up for Casey. So that's why the order seems a little on the larger side. It's because um, I got more for Casey, okay? so. Most everything I got were in the Lurid bags because that's my favorite. Some things I could only get in these snap bars. So this first one is Holiday Brunch. I haven't had this one before, but it sounded really good. It's Marshmallow Fluff, Birthday Cake, and French Toast. Okay. It almost has maybe like a, a hint of just a soft, beautiful, light florally kind of. 
it, I mean, it might be the, the uh, marshmallow that I'm smelling, but it's like this soft, it sounds weird, fluffy kind of something with little a little back half of something. Oh, that is so good. All right, one thing about Lurid. Sarah's amazing. Her labels are always like outstanding, right? She puts the name and then down below, she'll put the scent notes on everything. I, well, let me see. Yeah, I got a clam. It has the scent notes on it. Awesome. And then on the back, she puts the pour date. So this one looks like it was just poured on 730. All right, next, let's look at this clam I got. So I tried to get more elephant ears. It was sold out. I do have the little sample of elephant ears that came in that sampler bag I got, but I wanted to have some more. So I got it in a clam because that was available. So this is elephant ears, which is fried dough, cinnamon, sugar, and powdered sugar. Okay, her clams are very stiff, just to warn you. Oh, isn't that fun? Look at that. It's like a little birthday. Oh, it's so good. Seriously, it, it is a spicy cinnamon, like a hot tamale cinnamon, but soft. It's not like, it's kind of weird to say, it's not like a powdery cinnamon. This is definitely like a spicy, yummy cinnamon, okay? That is so good. So we, I live in Clackamas County and the Clackamas County Fair is coming up in August. This reminds me seriously, and actually there might be something else in here. Um, it reminds me of the fair or as the theme of, of that pre-order was circus. Oh, it's so good. It's like going up and getting an elephant ear at one of the vendors. And I'm on Weight Watchers, so I'll probably not be able to get any this year, but we'll see. And then she puts the pour date right on the inside. That is so good. All right, this next one is Pixie Dust. And the Pixie Dust is blue, or excuse me, hmm, bubble gum, pink sugar type, and strawberry soda. The bubble gum, that's what I'm smelling. Now I know why everyone loves pixie dust. I didn't get this one last time, so I'm like, eh, I'm not a huge strawberry person. Oh, this is so good. Yes, 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 and double, triple, yes. Amazing, bubble gummy, strawberry yumminess. All right, one of my absolute favorites is the cotton candy stand which is cotton candy and cotton candy frosting. And this seriously smells like you go up to a cotton candy vendor. It is so good. And I know some people don't, you know, think that cotton candy can be real strong. And, and I agree, sometimes it can't, but it's her cotton candy is like seriously walking up to a cotton candy vendor and you smell that spun sugar in there, just making its yummy goodness. Amazing, amazing. Okay, this one I got two of. I had to get more. Peanut butter jelly time. And the peanut butter jelly time is sweet peanut butter cookies with strawberry jam. And I, at first I was kind of thrown off. Let me show you here. Because the colors in it are brown and purple. So I thought it was grape jelly, but it's not. That, I mean, the peanut butter is definitely prominent. And it's so good. Uh, the, I have been looking for a really outstanding peanut butter scent. This is, um, I let them cure a little bit longer. It is in currently in my melting basket. So I'm so excited to get started on that one. This one, fish bowl. So a lot of these were repeats of items I really liked in the sampler. So this is coconut milk, mango, and papaya. And it's prominent coconut milk to me. And it's so good, guys. You get that mango and papaya, but that's just a beautiful mix in with that coconut milk. Oh, heaven. Okay, I got two of these, and this is circus peanuts. Now, at first, you know, when I had opened the sample first, and I was like, huh, this kind of smells like, 
you know, peanut butter and like maybe marshmallowy. Um, duh. It's peanut butter and marshmallow fluff and cream. And I like actually eating circus peanuts. I like them. What can I say? I like them. So yeah, you get this more marshmallowy something to the um, to the peanut butter. So so good, so good. Next is summer sunset, and this is orange juice cream. Or orange juice, cream, raspberry, and lemon fizz. Now, I don't exactly remember what Casey ordered. I know this one would not be it because it's fizzy pop. It's 100% fizzy pop, and it's amazing. Lori, I bet you you love this one. You can smell that lemon fizz in there. Mm. So delicious. Hang on a second. My husband had tried calling me. I'm recording. He's on his way home from work. Um, anyway, okay, so this next one, watermelon lemonade, and I got two of these just because I love it so well. I don't remember if this is one Casey ordered. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is sweet watermelon, fresh lemon, and four tablespoons of sugar. Her recipe for the perfect watermelon lemonade. And it's delicious. It is more watermelon and sugar versus the lemonade on cold sniff. And I do have two of those. All right. This next one I got, I think I got for myself. It's called Melted. And this is lemon, yep, lemon lime soda, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. Hmm. Okay, this is less strong on the lemon lime soda than um, the sunset one was. But it is still really good. I, I get what I'm getting um, to soften that lemon lime soda, I think is that vanilla ice cream. <sighs> so good. I, I am beyond impressed with Sarah. I mean, I mean, just look at these. I mean, seriously, do you know the time and effort she puts into that? Ugh, Ferris wheel. I know Casey ordered this one. This is, so I'm not gonna stick my nose in it, just, you know, for Casey. So it's fried sweets, red vines, and vanilla ice cream. So I'm just gonna take one out. And really what I smell right off is fried sweets. I don't get the red vines or that kind of thing. I smell the fried sweets and the vanilla ice cream, but that one's really good. Okay, I've got two more in here. Soda O'Shea. This is tropical soda, orange soda, and cream soda. I think I smell the tropical soda, then the orange. And that cream soda to me just kind of adds this like creaminess to it. My husband likes cream soda. I got car sick on cream soda once, so yeah, I don't drink cream soda. Oh, that's so good. That is a good fizzy soda scent. All right, and then the last one I got was Watermelon Festival. And this is just fresh watermelon and sugar. Oh, that's a nice bright, Sweet watermelon, delicious. I love my watermelons. I love my watermelon lemonades. And see something like Watermelon Festival, I can take that, mix it with maybe a really strong lemonade and make my own, you know, uh, lemonade scent. She did, she, Sarah is so awesome, guys. You need to order from Lurid, I'm serious. Okay, she sent me two samples. All right, this first one, Sheets. Let's see, look at all those little, whew. I'm gonna put sprinkles all over the cat. Okay, so that one is like a laundry scent. I don't wanna get sprinkles all over my nose, mean, no, all over my nose. Casey, I think I'm gonna send this one to you. Really nice, not my wheelhouse. And then this one is Sweet Bum. So I'm assuming this is a Boom Boom scent. Can I pop it out? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. 
So if that's just a straight boom boom, now, now I know what it smells like. Um, it's really nice. I like it. So I know I went kind of fast and crazy, but I was just so excited to get into this. Um, now she, I believe she just put out on her Facebook group asking for requests for her upcoming, it, either it's an, a pre-order or an RTS. I honestly don't remember. Um, I, obviously my number one absolute request is going to be pretzels. I need, I'm not much for loaves. I really don't like to have to chop. So I'll probably get bags and bags and bags of the lurid bags. So you guys, you need to go order from, from Sarah if you haven't before. She's amazing. She's, she listens, you know, to her, um, her buyers, her customers, what, however you want to phrase that. She's awesome. Go check her out. There is still some stuff on her website. Not very much, but I know there is some. So if you are interested in trying Sarah's wax, go peruse, see what she's got left. Pick yourself up a couple things. You won't be disappointed. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I will catch you in the next video along with AJ. Bye.